Howdy folks. So this is not a normal video. Um, I don't normally talk about uh, things like this, uh, modern cell phones, uh, primarily because there are other people on YouTube who get paid and sponsored big money to do things uh, with these, tear them apart, all that kind of stuff. And I just don't have the money and I just, I couldn't be bothered to deal with it. I mean, there's other people who do it far better than I would ever do it. So I'm not going to be tearing these kinds of things down and all that kind of stuff. That's that's just not me. Um, this is on my second channel because this is a bit of a strange video, but I thought I'd make it anyway. Uh, I recently uh, got uh, off of a contract. Um, this is my old phone and uh, I switched providers and in doing so I got a new phone. So I thought I'd just talk about why uh, why I got the phone I got and uh, a little bit about Samsung and LG and uh, sort of the history I've had with these companies. Now about two years ago I bought this, this is a Samsung Galaxy S4 and uh, this was the very first smartphone that I actually bought new. Um, before this I had Nokia's and a couple used uh, smartphones, really, really low quality. We're talking like Android 2, um, very, just, they're not in the same class of product. Uh, so this was a, a very nice, uh, nice product for me to have. Um, I bought it new and it was on a two-year contract which just expired. And I bought the Galaxy S4 simply because it was sort of the de facto high-end Android phone. Uh, I don't like Apple, uh, as you may know. I'm very against their business practices. Uh, they're not the kind of, I mean, I use Linux for God's sakes. I mean, I'm not the, the kind of person who would pay into uh, the Apple brand. So I don't own any of their products and nor will I probably ever in the future. So I wanted an Android device, and I wanted something that was high-end. It had, you know, good features, and uh, it had it needed to have an SD card slot, which so I couldn't default to like a Google Nexus or anything like that. And so I just bought this one by default, basically. And uh, when I first got the phone, I was, I mean, I was happy with it. Um, but then things started to go wrong, and I'll preface this by saying that everything that I've ever owned by Samsung has been crap in some way and I mean I've owned microwaves, refrigerators, monitors, uh, an oven, I've owned a bunch of things from Samsung and they have all suffered uh, either failures or just cases of horrible design. So I've been dissatisfied with all those products and I thought okay well those are all usually big. They've got some sort of power electronics in them, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I thought, well, maybe Samsung's phone division, which I mean is very different, is you know not plagued by the same uh, the same issues. But sadly, I don't think that's the case. Um, this phone started uh, started out fine, and I mean it's been treated probably as good as you're gonna get without, you know, while still being able to call it a used phone. Uh, it's never been dropped, it's never been subject to extreme temperatures or anything like that. Um, it's had all sorts of protection on it. Uh, I mean, I, this phone has been treated well. And for it to still fail, I mean, of course this could just be, you know, one-off, but to me, just, I've had so many bad experiences, I, I can't really say that's the case. Um, there are weird hardware things wrong with it. Um, the infrared sensors don't work, so none of the gesture stuff works anymore. It can't detect when it's up close to your face anymore. Uh, all that stuff doesn't work. Um, their, their biggest problems, though, were, were with software. Um, they, they did not support this product nearly as well as I would have hoped. Um, I don't actually even remember the first version of Android that this thing came with. But uh, at the end of the 4. Android 4.4, this phone had um, the last update that they released for 4.4, it was 4.4.2 if I remember correctly. It had a critical bug um, 
the Flack decoding library uh, had a bug, and it, it was fixed by Google Upstream. Uh, but for some re like a long time before the update actually got released, but Samsung somehow managed to, I don't know, um, they managed to add the bug, which I, I, I don't understand how they managed to do it, but they managed to put this bug in which made the Flack decoding library unusable, which basically meant that this phone could not decode Flack files. And this was an operating system wide issue, so it wasn't just like Google Play Music couldn't decode Flack. I mean, nothing could decode Flack, not even the alarm clock. I mean, it was it was big problem. And there's not many apps out there that actually have their own Flack decoding libraries. In fact, there's only two that I know of. One I think is called the Neutron Music Player, which is a paid app. And then, then there's VLC, which at the time, VLC was in super hella beta. So it was extremely unstable and very difficult to use. But I had to use it for six months because of this bug. Now, of course, there's gonna be all the people that say, why didn't you just cyanogen mod the thing and you know fix it yourself? I didn't wanna do that. This was my phone, this was very important to me. I couldn't go through a re-imaging of the phone. I, it just, at that time, it was not, not a viable option for me. For some people, it would have been. And of course, now that it's not my primary phone, of course, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but back then, it wasn't an option. So, I mean, I lived with it for six months and eventually, they came out with the Android 5.0 update. And I thought this is going to be great. They're going to have finally fix the issue, and they did. But the software quality in general um, really, really degraded. Um, I've there are actually rumors that Samsung held back the update uh, in in Europe, which is where they released it first, because they had so many issues with it. But they continued the rollout in North America anyway, and basically, it's just unstable now. Uh, applications will just freeze and force quit uh, that never used to before. Um, the whole operating system is unstable. Um, and I'm kind of saddened that they would let something like this, you know, through the through QA, but they did. And uh, it, it got to be the point where uh, there were so many little things wrong with it that I just said, you know, I don't want to keep this phone I'll get another one with another plan, uh, and that's exactly what I did. So I wanted another phone, um, but I didn't want to buy another Samsung because I didn't. I, I wanted to just try somebody else, right? This, it was kind of a I don't want to get an S6 or an S5 or whatever, uh, and I wanted something new. I wanted something that was the same or better specs. Uh, I didn't want to downgrade. I think that, that's a little bit stupid. So. I saw, well, LG makes this, this is the this is the G4, which is a relatively new phone. Um, not many carriers in Canada actually have this at the moment. Uh, getting Even finding one was actually kind of challenging. And uh, I went with this because uh, it has, I mean, it has quite decent specs and uh, it's new and it's not Samsung. Uh, I know that may not sound like the greatest uh, the, the greatest uh, criteria, but I mean, that's what I did. And LG, I mean, I've owned quite a few LG products and most of them have been not bad. Um, particularly, I have uh, quite a few LG uh, LCD monitors. And uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, LG is actually Lucky Gold Star. Um, they went through this marketing campaign a few years ago to try and rebrand themselves uh, as LG instead of Gold Star, and they had those those ads that said LG Life's Good, and they tried to, I almost want to say brainwash people into thinking that's what it stood for, and that's the company, and you know, that they were they, they tried to forget their past because Gold Star was not a uh, a company that instilled a lot of confidence in most consumers. It was generally a budget brand, uh, one of those kinds of things. So. I mean, they did a good job, and uh, I think they did raise their quality to some extent. I don't think they're uh, as good as other brands, definitely not. But they are, uh, they are better than at least you know the the, the old-fashioned uh, Lucky Gold Star products I remember from when I was a kid. Um, this phone is is not bad. Um, there are some issues with it. Um, I literally just went out and bought it. I didn't even I didn't even know uh, things like the buttons are on the back. Uh, there's no there's no buttons on the sides. Uh, you've got your volume and and 
power here. Uh, there's some some things I don't like. Uh, for example, you can double tap the screen to wake it up, and you can't turn that off, which apparently you could in the previous model. Um, I don't understand that, but uh, whatever. Uh, it's bigger. I mean, that's sort of inevitable. Um, it is actually quite, quite a bit bigger. Um, it's a marginally thicker. It's curved. Didn't know that either until I got it, uh, which is, I think, just a gimmick, but whatever. Uh, it uses a different, uh, the IR blaster, I think, is a different frequency, because I can emit IR codes on this that don't work on this, and I can emit IR codes on this that don't work on this. And uh, the battery life on this is not as good, primarily because uh, it's got a bigger screen, bigger, more beefy, uh, more beefy processor. This thing gets hot as shit. I mean, this thing will cook. I mean, it's ridiculous how hot this gets compared to this. I thought this was hot. I thought this was bad, but no. Um, and of course, things like the double tap, you can't turn that off. So obviously it's running the capacitive touch all the time, which is probably uh, contributing to the uh, not great uh, battery life. I mean, yeah, I, I just I thought I th I thought I'd just mention mention this because uh, I mean, do other people have the same issues? Have, has anyone else sort of observed the decreasing quality of Samsung and the increasing quality of their competitors? Uh, I just I thought that was something worth noting. I mean, it served me okay, but I would have expected, given the way I treated it, it would last better. And I've heard from people that. Samsung, they just sort of, they care only about profit. They, they really don't care uh, about the quality of the products. I mean, I know other people who've had the same phone and they've had it just completely die on them uh, and other weird things just even weeks after getting it. Um, it's just, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I'll probably make a video in a year or two and see, see how this thing survives. Um, I'm going to treat it exactly the same and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, because at this point, I, I don't, I don't know. So uh, that was uh, that was just a random waffle. Uh, I don't really think there was much of a point to this video, but uh, anyway, hopefully you took something away from that. If you've had experiences with either of these products uh, or the companies, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I always enjoy. Uh, reading stories people have so uh yeah thanks for watching